Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will tell you about uh, grocery products in the far east of Russia. And yeah, there are many videos on YouTube about supermarkets in Russia. So I decided to show something different and show you not only in Russia, but in the far east. Uh, video for supermarket. Uh, I'm not surprised that I was stopped by the guards or the administrator, whoever this is, but I didn't know that it would happen so fast in like first minutes of uh, my video. But anyways, I told that man that I have all the rights to film there, so I don't know, maybe I will be uh, taken to Gulag after entering that place. But anyways, let's go. So this supermarket is called Sanbiri. And uh, you know, in the European part of Russia, like in Moscow, there are many chains of supermarkets like Lienta, uh, Magnets, uh, Dixie, but in the Far East we don't have them and we have only Sambiri, so this is our Far Eastern like product. And today I will show you different uh, groceries that we have only here in this part of Russia. Let's go! And the first exhibit of our Far Eastern product exhibition is this, I call it uh, dried seaweed. Yeah, dried labor. Here it says sushi, so it's like for making sushi. And it is really popular, you can just uh, take it and eat it as a snack or to make sushi with it. I really love this thing. And it is uh, exported from Korea and uh, through Vladivostok. So here are several uh, like thin packages and one such a package would cost you 105 rubles, It which is one and uh, three USD. And here you can see another version, flavor of barbecue. And this small package will cost you 36 rubles, about uh, 50 cents. And here you can see a big variety of uh, sea products, for example, preserved herring. It's called matie in uh, mustard. So here's, here are many different variations of herring. Also, this one is really interesting. It's called salyanka, but it's not actually salyanka. It's like a salad with uh, squid and seaweed and uh, carrot too. And there are many different types of this dish. I really love it. For example, this one is with uh, mayonnaise. This one really interesting salad. Know that it is sold in like sushi restaurants. And I wonder where it is from. So it says that it is made in Kamchatka region. And here you can see a big, big package of such a salad made of seaweed. And here we can see a big variety of fish, somga, keta. And guys, there is a stereotype that we in the Far East uh, have uh, like low prices for fish because we live on the seashore, but it's actually not true. And uh, fish here cost the same as in Moscow or even more expensive because all the prices here in the Far East are about 30% higher than in the European part of Russia. Yeah, even though I said that it's not that affordable to buy caviar, guys, there is a solution. First, we have an imitated... Wait, just wait. First, this is uh, like a red caviar, but it is imitated one. So it looks like uh, one, but uh, it's obviously made of some other things. And this one is a caviar of Pollock. It's like small little pieces of caviar and it's really salty. And these are my favorite. It's called uh, crab sticks. Even though they're not made of real crab, they're just made uh, of, uh, again, Pollock. Actually, it's made in Primorsky Krai in Nakhotka city. And I heard that in the European part of Russia, they don't have such things. Or maybe they do, but they don't taste that good. So you see, they even on sale, 99 rubles. And Another thing is uh, Korejska Markovka or Korean uh, carrots and it is a very interesting dish because it has a very interesting history. It wasn't made by Koreans who live in Korea. So it was created by Korean ethnic groups 
who lived uh, on the territory of the Soviet Union. Yeah, so it was created by Karyosaram and it's just uh, spiced carrots. I don't know if it exists in uh, other Russian regions, but here in the Far East, especially in Primorsky Krai, where I'm from, it is very popular. Such a little portion will cost you 83 rubles. These are uh, chips from uh, Bingra company and also there is another flavor, Zaki Zaki. There were others but this one is my favorite one. And actually guys, I don't want to confuse you because it's originally from Russia. It's not from Korea as I thought before because here it says that it's made in Novosibirsk. So guys, if you are watching this from Novosibirsk, uh, hello. But just I thought that it's made and sold only here in the Far East. I didn't see it in Moscow either, so I don't know. I just personally like to say that this is our Far Eastern and Siberian product. 64 rubles. Here also is a shelf uh, of Asian goods, for example, Asian noodles. And I know that, for example, in the United States, there is almost the same kind of noodles. Oh my God. <laughs> it's called... Uh, Maruchan, Marukan, I don't know. And it's funny that in the US it's considered cheap, but in Russia it's very expensive because we have even uh, cheaper noodles, the Shirak, but this one is like posh ones. So actually my relatives brought it from Thailand and it's like you have to add it to rice when you're cooking rice with vegetables and it tastes like eggs, but I don't know, like I didn't understand it. And here it says that it's, uh, where? It's, ah oh yeah, it's made in Japan. Oh yeah, maybe they brought it from Japan. I mean, my relatives, they travel to Asia all the time. And I could not miss this part of the supermarket. And this is uh, our local beer made in Kabaras and it's called Sihate Alin. Sihate Alin is a chain of mountains coming from the Kabaras uh, region to Primorsky Krai. It's like light beer. I have not tried it yet, but I guess it's uh, really good because it is from Kabaras. Another very interesting thing here is uh, beer made in Japan, Asai. I don't know if it exists in other regions of Russia, but here it's like very popular. This one is very special, it's called Milkis. It's like soda with flavor of milk. Yeah, and there's actually milk in the ingredients of this. And uh, as a child, I love this drink so much. We would buy it all the time. This was our equivalent of Coca-Cola because when I was a child, cola was more expensive. But Milkis, uh, it's also sold in such cans. Of course, the design now is uh, a little different. There is uh, Dora, a Russian singer, but when I was a child, there was a little different design. And uh, it's made by a company called Lotte. It is a Korean company. And for some reason, I'm used to this company a lot. Like they make many other products that are also very popular here in the Far East. And this bottle costs 69 rubles. And uh, this little can is like 38 rubles but when I was a child it would cost like 11 rubles really everything became expensive now and you can see that milk is here has different flavors even these flavors also there's a drink a chupa chups and it's also made by some Korean company chupa chups Oh, на Сахалине сделано. And this legendary product made uh, on the Sakhalin Islands, far eastern salad made of seaweed. Again, I really like it. It has a lot of uh, yodium. And when there was uh, Fuku uh, Fukushima in 2014, uh, all stores in Spask uh, they just uh, ran out of these things because you know you have to eat like yodium when there's something radioactive, I don't know how it works, but I don't know if it worked uh, well for me because as you can see, I started a YouTube channel. This can costs 44 rubles. Wow, it's so focused.
как-то плин. Все, красиво. What about desserts? Here we have our Far Eastern chocolate, and this one made in uh, Primorsky Kraj by Primorsky Konditor. It's made with like sea flavors. For example, this one is made with sea salt, and there are literally pieces of salt inside of it. It's really tasty. Also, there's one with scallop with the pepper and salty almonds, and this specific thing is uh, actually chocolate with uh, like design of islands around Vladivostok. I personally prefer it even more, prefer it to all these uh, other Russian chocolates like Alenka, Alpen Gold, because uh, this one is uh, a little more expensive, but I think that its quality is better and it tastes better too. Yeah, chocolate with seaweed is very unusual. Uh, this one is another product by the Lotte, the Korean company. Again, my childhood love because it's uh, endemic for our region. I don't know if you guys have it in Moscow. If you do, please don't comment anything. Anyways, I really love Chocobai and when I was in school, we would make like tea parties devoted to some holidays like New Year's and kids will often bring this choco pie because it is very convenient so it is like like a biscuit with some strange thing in between and yeah such a package would cost you 159 rubles number one in my top best products of the far east are is this uh, candies it's called Primorsky Primorsky candies after the region Primorsky Kraj where they are made and there's some very touching story about these candies because before they were called Ptichia Malako which is literally bird's milk a very unusual title and actually there is Ptichia Malako but uh, here's the story this recipe of this chocolate is very unique it was created in Vladivostok by like scientists and it's made out of agar agar it's some like thing made out of seaweed so there is a, a difficult process and you know it's like the secret recipe of crab's burger from spongebob and only vladivostok knew how to do this even though it goes by a different name but i still love it well i mean i know it is hard to stand on your feet when you see me but guys короче блин а что они так их не так поставили So this was my video about our Far Eastern products. Of course, uh, some of them are sold in other parts of Russia, but I tried to find something that is very special for me. Write in the comments uh, what you find interesting, which products uh, maybe exist in your country, which products are new for you. Uh, tap like to this video. If you like this video, write your comments. And thank you for watching. Thanks to my patrons for supporting my channel. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Goodbye.